it's my birthday go shorty it's your birthday we're gonna party like it's your birthday it is go shorty hey guys welcome back to my channel so today is my birthday this is actually the first birthday ever that i'm spending alone like totally on my own because i was supposed to spend my birthday in paris i have i had already even booked my flight and my tickets wait flight and tickets yeah, the same thing i mean i already booked my flight and my accommodation but look at me look at me here i am stuck in my house so wait, jesus <laughs> so today i turned 24 years old and i felt oh wow i'm so old and i have so much wisdom i need to you know bless these people with all the wisdom i have i'm going to share 24 lessons i've learned in 24 years of my life because i am now a wise one i am a guru this is actually one of the best birthdays i've had even though i'm all alone and i know it may sound very cliche because people say this a lot like oh this is the best birthday i've had no legit is the best birthday i really really appreciate all the love i have gotten on this day of my birth it's been so overwhelming and so amazing and if you sent me a message i really want to say thank you so 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 much but before we go on if there's anything you've also learned living life on earth please drop the lessons you've learned in life in the comment section and i'll definitely read them so that way we're learning from each other and i'll reply you so let's get right into this video get a pen and a jotter i'll wait for you you probably need to jot things down if you don't jot things down you won't take things away you won't take things out of this discussion the very first lesson I've learned is that people would not always support you and that the people you expect to support you are most likely the ones that will not support you. I know, right? It's crazy, but that's the truth. Like the people in your inner circle, you would expect to cheer you on and be like, whoa, you go girl, you go boy. When you're trying something new or when you're trying out a new adventure or a new business or whatever it is, are usually the ones that would not support you as much as you expect. It's just that they become so familiar with you that it's like, you know, it's just a normal thing. Like they don't see the big deal or you don't see why they have to cheer you on so much like sometimes you get the most support from the people who are outside of your circle because these are people that don't know you on a very like personal basis and that is fine second thing i've learned is that you need to embrace failure and that failure is a part of life you don't need to be scared of failure failing like i say is learning in oh my god what's that it's hair my hair basically Failing is learning in one or more ways how something would not work out. So if you fail at something, oh, yay, great, you failed. That means you learned how it would not work and you can do it better next time. I know it's easier said than done. It's easy to say all these things in theory. But when you're actually going through failure, it's not funny. But my point is, you just need to know that failure is a part of life. And the sooner you embrace it, the easier it gets, I think. Another thing I've learned is mistakes are bound to happen you're bound to make mistakes that will make you be like oh my god did i actually make that mistake what was i thinking or things that will legit embarrass you and your face will go red well technically we can't go red because our skin is black you know but you get my point you're gonna be embarrassed you <laughs> so by making mistakes you learn and as far as you're learning that is fine I've also learned over the years that friendships are very, very important. It is important that you cultivate the right friendships. Pour into the people that are pouring into you. Support the people that are like there for you, your friends. Learn to be there for them. Be their cheerleader. Support them, you know, because, oh my God, I can't overemphasize this. Friendships are really important. And the next thing I have learned also in life is that you outgrow friendship no think about it right now think of a friend of yours that you were really close to five years ago or all the friends you were close to five years ago i'm sure you're not as close as you were to all of them right now maybe some of them you're just like on the high hello level and that is fine because you outgrow you outgrow friendships either they outgrew you or you outgrew them either way people outgrow friendships and that is fine self-love is a journey so far for me my 24 years on earth you know my full 24 years I've not come to the place where I'm like, oh yes, I'm perfectly in love with myself. Nothing can shake my self-esteem or anything. No, I think self-love is a journey. You have to constantly love yourself for who you are and constantly accept yourself for who you are. Why? Because change is constant and you keep changing. So you need to constantly accept the change that you see or the change that you've evolved into. Accept yourself for who you are, for what you are and for what you stand for. Oh my God, see rhymes. Hey! Another thing I'm learning or have, I have learned is it is okay to say no. I'm always spreading myself thin because I want to be of assistance to everybody. But I realize I cannot please everybody. And 
it's not my fault it's because i only have 24 hours in a day if i had more i would help as much people as i can but i'm learning that it's okay to prioritize myself if i do something i'm always thinking oh what would be the ripple effect of this what if i spend this money it's not better i send this money to this person i'm always thinking of other people before i think of myself and i'm learning it's okay to put myself first it's okay chidera to put yourself but another thing i've learned is there is no such thing as perfect timing oh my god that's something we see like magical movies there's no such thing as perfect timing like the perfect time to start whatever you want to do is now the perfect time to step out and do whatever you want to do is now stop analysis paralysis stop analyzing everything and overthinking and over stressing just start and everything will fall in place i know it's like i'm telling you to just jump into the ocean no you should know how to swim before you jump into the ocean another thing i've learned hey is that ambition is a very good thing back in the days when people are like oh chidera you're so ambitious i'll be like like i start feeling but i'm like no i'm not ambitious so i'm just a very no please i am very very ambitious i want to make it in life is, is, is that a bad thing it's not so it's okay to have ambition because ambition is hope when you have ambition it means you're hoping for something better and it's hope that keeps us going so it is perfectly fine to have ambition if people say you're ambitious stand open use your chest and say it yes i am very very ambitious it's okay to be ambitious that's just what i want to say everything happens for a reason it will definitely not make sense when you're going through it but at some point in life it adds up as i'm saying this i'm like cringing within me because there was a time when i went through a very dark phase and i could not see any sense in what was happening in my life at that point even my parents tried to make me to see the good side but to me it did not make sense like nothing made sense at that point but now fast forward two years later i'm beginning to understand why things did not work out at that point and why i had to go through what i went through that's because everything happens for a reason i know it sounds very very cliche trust me i know but point is it will make sense to you at some point it may not make sense right now it's see, it won't even make sense right now but it will make sense at some point hmm. another thing i am learning is that comparison limits you the more you compare yourself to others the more you limit your abilities the more you limit your skills because when you're comparing yourself to others let me give you an analogy comparing yourself to another person basically what you're doing is you are increasing that person's light and you're dimming your own light and you know when when you ha you have bright lights in front of you your it begins to blind you and then you're unable to see clearly that's basically what comparison is because you're making that person you're overestimating that person you're making that person so big and making yourself so small and you, you know you begin to think of yourself as so little comparison does not help you are unique and you, only you can bring the perspective that you bring and only you can have the skill sets that you have or project the experience that you have like you are you makes sense somehow right it's very important to save money it's very important to have a saving culture right now you need to start saving money from the little that you have and not keep telling yourself oh when i have hundred thousand naira, i'll start saving ten thousand naira every month <laughs> i laugh in swahili hiki, hiki, hiki. no you need to start having a saving culture right now start saving money towards something and have a goal that you're saving towards don't just save money for the sake of it that's very important another thing i've learned is to never say never you need to stop criticizing and judging people the fact that they are going through what they are going through does not mean it can never happen to you because to be honest you don't know what awaits you in the future like never say never and also be open to opportunities don't limit yourself like be open-minded be open to trying out new things be open to doing things you've never done because you might just find something or discover something you never knew you had or any some money you wouldn't have gotten personal development is an ongoing project like you never ever stop learning and you never stop developing yourself you need to constantly commit yourself to developing your skills developing your talents and you know just moving with the world as the, as the world is evolving and new trends are coming up you need to keep abreast of all these things you know so learning never ends and personal development is a forever journey it's very important to think long term in as much as we don't have total control over the things that would happen in the future it's really good that you think long term as this would help you avoid some mistakes that could cost you a lot in the future so instead of thinking oh i want to do this now i want to have fun i want to do this to do that think about oh if i do this what is the ripple effect in like five years time i know that's like <laughs> i just aspire to perspire talk but point is it's really good you think long term 
think big picture this would help you avoid some silly silly mistakes okay courage is not the absence of fear but basically courage is the ability to act in spite of fear so people who are courageous it's not like they were not afraid Mbao. Hmm. they were very afraid but they did not let the fear limit them fear is a very limiting emotion and you need to get to the point where you're able to master your fear oh my god i am so wise jesus so yeah you need to get to the point where you're able to master your fear and learn to act in spite of it begin to take little steps now to improve yourself in areas that you struggle with if you know public speaking is a problem for you begin to talk in small circles begin to take initiatives in small circles my point is just ensure that you're trying to you're trying to fight that thing that limits you that's my point it is very okay to take time out for yourself it is okay to shut the world out it is okay to take time every now and then to renew your mind to re-strategize to just breathe like literally <sighs> breathe it's okay it might require you going off social media or you distancing yourself from some people english or you distancing yourself from some people and that is okay it's okay to take time out for yourself the thing i've learned which is not like the best thing i've learned is that pain crying and hurt is a part of life people will hurt you people will say things that would hurt you you would feel pain you would cry and cry and there are days when you won't feel like doing anything there are days when you literally do not have the energy but because every day is a new day you still have to get back out there and face it regardless of how you feel i've learned that adulting requires you to show up even when you don't feel like it i don't think you ever get to the point where you're like oh i'm ready for every pain and hurt i will feel in this life no but my point is just knowing that pain and hurt is a part of life i think it makes you i don't know what i'm saying right now but it makes sense your 20s are like the defining decade <laughs> i actually had a conversation with my brother where i said oh my god you realize that whatever we do between age 20 and 30 is what sets the precedence for the rest of our lives like the amount of hard work you put in now determine the quality of your life later the amount of hard work you put in now determines how early you're going to retire the amount of hard work you put into your relationship now determines when you might get married and when you might settle down and all of that thing so like this is the time to do the things you're supposed to do this is not the time to feel like oh my god i'm too young to do this i'm too young to do that no you better better start now you don't have so much time you better start now i think the most important thing i have learned so far is that no one absolutely no one has it entirely figured out like nobody has a life manual where they're just like okay chapter 23 we have to do this we have to do that <laughs> nobody has that everybody's just trying to wing it we're just winging it you know living life every day as it comes people are struggling with their own individual challenges but we keep at it because we're living life last and final thing i have learned has to come from you so drop a comment below and let me know of something you've learned so far in life or if there's something i said that resonated with you drop a comment and i'll definitely read it and i'll reply you i hope you found this video helpful in some way if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe till next time guys peace out